The ensemble works together to get the whole job done, and it's really clear in theater, but in some places, some organizations, it isn't quite so clear. And people don't see that direct connection between their role and the end product, like you do in theater. And they start to get kind of disengaged. And you can feel it in the way they talk about it. They're either thinking of themselves as an order taker or a problem solver. That's the two types of people that show up at work. You got your order takers and you got your problem solvers. Now the order takers are the ones that show up at work going, hey, I'm gonna be a good employee. I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I'm told, you know. I'm gonna do what I'm told and I'm gonna get through the day. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna get through the day. And that's about all they're doing, right? They're just kind of getting through the day. Then you have your problem solvers who show up at work going, how can I make this whole organization stronger? How can I add my life to the mix and make this whole thing better? They're working for the whole, not just themselves. Those are the people who think of themselves as invested partners, not just nice employees. Order takers, problem solvers. And what separates these two types of people at work? Is it their pay scale? Is it their title? Is it the amount of responsibility they have? No, it's just the mindset. You can be the top dog in the organization and still have the mindset of an order taker, just doing what I have to do. You can be the bottom rung of the organization and come to work like a problem solver, somebody who's really, really invested. It comes down to how are you thinking about it? Because if you're over here in the no camp, if you're over here just insisting on resisting and saying no, these people have a mindset sort of like concrete, really firm and rigid. So they'll say things like, you know, I'm fine the way I am. And I, don't, I don't need to know more. I, my opinions are set. They're not going to change. I'm good. Yep, I'm, I'm fine. Don't need to do any changing. So they're, they're stuck this way, and they say, and as setbacks happen, it's never their fault, right? Concrete mindset. They say, no, 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 it's, it's the economy. It's the government. You know, it's, it's the way I was raised. It's the weather. It's never their fault. So they have a hard time dealing with change because the concrete can break. Concrete can crack. Concrete can be crushed. Over there on the yes side, those people, they have a fluid mindset. So they say, oh, okay, I can develop. I can grow and improve. I expect challenges. I accept setbacks. So they're good at dealing with change. When the setbacks happen, they say, well, you know, how can I, how, what can I learn from this? How can I move forward and make sure that doesn't happen again? Fluid, great dealing with change, because unlike concrete, which can be crushed, fluid finds the empty space, finds the opportunity, and fills it up.